is up guys so uh i want to make a quick video today about uh the peak design everyday backpack the uh 30 liter uh, man it looks huge in this in the camera in the phone it looks huge uh this is a 30 liter they make a 20 liter as well um i actually been thinking about making this video for uh couple weeks now um and then uh actually earlier today i was talking about this bag with a with a buddy of mine but uh man this bag uh peak design um they're kind of pricey the bags are um but they're they're well made and i believe they're worth the investment um i got this a couple years ago and i've taken it on two trips to Virginia uh, the first trip I took it on to Virginia I uh, I uh, camped out on the way there and camped out on the way back <clears throat> went hiking with this bag um, and uh, and no complaints really no complaints at all uh, a couple of uh, aesthetics um, there's a uh, you know this thread right here is getting frayed um, that probably is you know just normal it's from normal wear or whatever um, but other than that all the uh, zippers they're uh, weather sealed zippers um, everything on the bag is uh, it's got a lifetime warranty on it lifetime guarantee uh, yeah man this this has been a been a really good bag uh, I've got this packed out pretty heavy. I don't normally carry uh, everything that I have in here that I'm going to show you, but uh, I just wanted to pack it up pretty, pretty, uh, pretty heavy, so I could show you what all can can fit in here. So on the outside, I have a uh, me me photo tripod. I actually use this for a lot of my videos, um, except uh, I'm using the little uh, off brand Gorilla Pod that I have. Uh, now because I wanted to use that I wanted to pack that in the bag water bottle on this side these pockets are expandable um, a lot of times I'll take two two water bottles me and my uh, son are out riding bikes um, I'll put one I'll put mine on one side and his on the other um, and I'll carry two water bottles but uh, if I need a tripod I'll take a tripod with me and a water bottle on this side um <clears throat> here at the top let's see first of all to open it it's got this magnetic hook system so you uh you pull out and pull down and it oh, that's how it opens up uh it's expandable you got all these uh latches to where you can uh latch on to the uh to the bag to make it expandable I got an old film canister and a little pizza ornament my daughter made me on the on the front hanging off. But, uh, so in the top here, I've got uh, my Fuji X100F rocket blower. I've got a light meter, and I've got a. Uh, my uh, film film camera, my uh, Minolta Hymatic AF2. So uh, we got that all in the top. And then on the sides, other stuff is accessible from the side. Everything down here. So you can zip it from the top. There's another zipper that you can unzip from the bottom if you wanted to. So I've got a uh, my medium format film camera down here. My Veronica ETRS. My uh, 200 millimeter lens. And then I took uh, what well, I took the light meter and the uh, the rocket blower out from right there but these things are are uh, collapsible 
Well, I've got something on the other side there, but I could have put something in the middle here if I wanted to. Uh, this this third divider, I just keep at the bottom for a little bit of extra padding. But uh, if I had a smaller camera, I could I could put something there if I wanted. There's a side pocket here. Uh, got a flashlight in here. There's another pocket for whatever. That's a pretty good size pocket. Uh, you put a notepad, small notepad in there, or uh, I could put my light meter in there if I wanted. Shoot, I could probably put my other camera in there if I wanted. Yeah, that fits right there as well. So. I got some batteries in there. Then on the other side, I'll zip this back up for now. And then on the other side, see I'll unzip it from the bottom this time. Got a 150 millimeter lens. Pardon me, man. I'm sweaty from riding my bike. Uh, 150 millimeter lens right here. Um, and like I said, I could collapse that and, and, uh, there you go. But yeah, these, these things you can, uh, you can take out if you want. And, uh, I could take these completely out and, man, if I wanted to use it as something other than a camera bag, I could, uh, man, I could probably fit, uh, I could probably fit, uh, two to three different uh, outfits in there maybe a pair of shoes um, but yeah this is a this is a good bag uh, well made like I said it's got a lifetime warranty um, they've got so I've got some some hidden straps right here if I wanted to strap a bigger tripod onto the bottom or if I was gonna go camping, I could I could put a uh, maybe like a wool wool blanket there, lay on the ground or or what have you. But uh, there's plenty of plenty of reviews on the internet of this bag. Um, right now, Peak Design has their version two out. This is the version one, and uh, they have the version one. Uh, on clearance along with their slings and messenger bag all the version ones are on clearance I think it's 30% off so uh, that's a pretty good deal for a really good product so that's it for now guys I just wanted to talk about this bag and I'm glad I made the purchase uh, I would definitely uh, buy one again um, maybe one day I'll get the uh, messenger bag or sling They're well worth the well worth the price, especially with the uh, everyday or the uh, lifetime warranty that they have with it. But uh, that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to make this quick video and uh, share my experience with this bag. Um, no complaints. Like I said, taking it on two trips to Virginia. I've carried it over the last two years. I've probably carried it with me about 80% of the time uh, to work. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention the top. This is where I carry my everyday stuff. Uh, and I've got some film in there, my wallet, glasses, batteries, another roll of film. And then in the back here, uh, you could put a laptop. I think you can put like a 15, 15 inch laptop back there. Uh, as well as a notepad um, I've got a I've got a uh, MacBook Air I think it's a 13 inch fits perfect in there but uh um, but yeah like I said I've carried this thing with me about 80% of the time over the last couple years and uh, no complaints at all definitely well worth the money even if it wasn't on clearance right now uh, you know I'd buy a new one is justifiable especially if uh, you know you're going to use it uh, it's going to be your main pack um, but yeah this is the charcoal gray version they got two or three other colors but uh 
anyways guys that's it for now uh, i'll see you in the next video oh if you got any questions or comments leave them below i'll be happy to answer them for you uh what's your favorite bag um let me know that uh let's get discussions going y'all have a good one take care